Hello everyone, this is Zero's Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our legendary Ma Teng Tiao Only campaign. We pick things back up for episode 11 from turn 73 in the winter season of 208. So, we annexed a little bit and it's been a turn and we're still processing that, you know, process of absorbing his generals. Um, we are continuing our war with the Naman factions. Right now we're mainly waiting for Wei Yan to come back. We have to do some assignments, right? We ended with a battle outside our lumberyard that went well, but assignments are still needed. We don't have to focus so hard on relationship, although I think we want to, but we don't want her. We don't want the plus corruption. So we're going to send her in to do this, because then we we'll get rid of our local corruption. We cancel her next turn once that becomes activated. That way we don't have a break in terms of when we get, um, you know, corruption going. And this is in Wudu, so we're going to also boost the surplus market here. Then we're going to shift to Jincheng, which is a huge source of commerce. And I think we'll send... Liu Ye to do this. That's why we kept all the strategists. I think we used up our seasonal deployment, so I can't summon anyone anymore. All right. We have to wait on that. Assignments down. Guess it's now building time. We might have excess characters, but I'm not so sure which one. Oh, Yang Ren. All right. Yang Ren gotta go. So. There he is. That takes care of that. We might have more characters that we are going to release, but right now... We could get rid of him. Right, Ying Yu. We'll fire him. And we'll fire her. Liu Fang Yue. Ying Yu. Okay, and I think we're good. I think our court is going to be tight after that. Uh, okay, now I think we're good. Now let's just deal with our situation. Hold on. Lu Ji can probably lose her title now. Save 200 there as well. I don't think I have any random titles out now. We can check like who has which title. That one helps. That one also helps. Okay, yeah, we don't have random titles anymore. Dong has two builds. So we're going to put the market wharf here for our own entrepreneur going forward. I think it's safe to do that. Or we don't. Hmm. We could just start downgrading, get rid of this, go with a simple, right, because this is never going to get a um, administrator. Okay. Jing Zhao. Hmm. State workshop. We're going to get rid of this and go private workshop next. Lady Me can work somewhere. Or let's have our wife do something. Ah. Hmm. Hold off. That might not be the best industry location, now that I think about it. Ba is just food generation. It can wait. The problem here is we probably need corruption reduction, or maybe we don't need it because there is Chengdu near it, Shu, which is not ours anymore. So corruption reduction is really weird for us because we don't have a lot of adjacencies because we passed out so much land.
I might just rush this. Alright, tier 3. Now we have a better chance of getting gold horses. Alright, so there's not a lot of adjacencies for this. Therefore, I think we just go with that. Alright, we spent all our money. Perfect. And take a peek. I don't think there's anything. Alright, because I think we did this this turn already. Alright, now we're good to go. Waiting for them to heal up and sail over to fight in Changsha and also join in the war effort against the Naman factions. How long will it take for this army to bounce back? Oh, the industry assignment, All right. Where do we have the highest industry? 600, 300, 600. Basi, don't, who has the lowest corruption of all of these? Probably Wu Du, right. But we already have, oh, that doesn't interfere, right? Because we can stack both. All right, that's good. Now let's continue. Shun Tzu wants to pay us for a non-aggression pack. I don't want to be the one eliminating him. He's weak, but we do want him gone. I want him to join us. The thing is, the respectability makes this a terrible time for us to do any deal. So I think we just cancel and let this slowly wind down. So reject. All right. Nothing really concerning us. Mm, no one really interesting. We'll take a look at them in more detail a bit later. He's back, so he gets the lead because he has reach. I'm gonna save Wen Huo for Zhuge Liang's army. We're gonna turn over here and grab this. Okay. Come on, Wei Yan. Work with us. Oh, yeah, it works. He can. Oh, he doesn't have reach. Oh, no one has reach. Oh, gosh. So. We're gonna move and then start mustering. Do we have fire arrows? No. Oh, it's gonna be rough. At least there's no walls, but towers. Mm. Alright, we still have 8,000 in our treasury. That's good. We can pick a lot of things here. So, we kind of want to work this way towards the copper mine. We own two right now, and we can get another one. We can get three. We would also need this, so this seems to be the right route, but this is also really helpful right now with the 6% corruption for one thing. We would get this first, and then we'll start working up these two routes. This one too. Yeah. They're good. We're in a race with Liu Bao to conquer some of these land. I'm gonna switch the retinue. It's not good. It's much better if we get hunters. We take a lot less casualty. He's gonna be able to grab this, which is okay, because he already owns a piece of Wu Lin, so he can take all of it. We'll take the rest of Wu Lin. Hmm, what level is it? City? It's gonna be... It's gonna be a peasantry. 
Yeah, no income. We'll hang on to this for now. And probably this. What are they giving me? Research rate? This one's useless. 15% to all, but we're not making much. So this will be starting off our adjacency for this region. Yeah, we'll come down and then take the T for ourselves. Let's see if Liu Bei's army can move. One more turn with mustering, but I don't want to wait anymore. Actually, we wait and then we sail. That'd be actually faster. Oh, these are the two generals I want. I don't know how that's going to happen, but we'll figure it out. Oh, Dashu works. And we can grab one of those bandit generals that we kept. Uh, both of them don't want to be in this army. So we can take her. She's a little low level though. We're keeping her mainly for the kids, our grandsons and granddaughters. Maybe we can allow for a disagreement. This way we'll have eventually fire arrows, poison arrows, and fire arrows. It'd be pretty good. He will probably leave. He's the only one who can get reach. Alright, they can rest up a little bit. They're gonna go explore and probably go to war with Yan Bai Hu for us. Oh, he has it. Never mind. Hmm. I almost don't know what this army is gonna do. Maybe we wipe out Wu Jing or something like that. Hmm. Yeah, it's a bit rough. We're at peace with pretty much everyone, which is also an issue. I'm sure I can find something for them to do, though. Hmm, let's get another building slot. All let's do is check out all these new characters, see if anyone has current as a trait. Nope. I don't think anyone has items either. Alright. We're good to go. Oh, we still have this army here. Like, what's the point of beating these? There's really no point. We could try to take the entirety of Hedong, I guess. Hmm, but I think that would just overextend us. It's better to keep him as an enemy for diplomacy reasons. Alright, best friend, best friend, best friend, very friendly, very friendly. Sun Tzu is friendly, Pai Empire is friendly, and all these Nanman factions. I think this army can probably take the C route and just go check out like the factions here. We'll bump into Shi Xie and see if we fight him. We want all the spice, so that's gonna be the plan. Let's continue. Alright. I think Sun Tzu went to go invade. 
Yeah. We, that's the effect of having extra replenishment. So we're gonna move them out. They'll full heal in time. We'll take the naval route. Here is good. Liu Bei's army can start sailing as well. How is this considered trespassing? Oh. No, if we land, we trespass. We don't land, it's fine. Wow, that's a lot of moving. Okay, it's quite the army. Wow. Blade of the Seven Gems. Qixing Bao Jian. Or Bao Dao. This is the mythical weapon, not mythical, it's just the, the, the fictional weapon that Cao Cao tried to use to assassinate Dong Zhuo with, which the event didn't even happen, but the item is in game, and we do see it, and we'll try to get it. That means we're gonna have to borrow this. Thank you very much. No, 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 this, wait, there it is. We'll give the fan back to Zhuge Liao. It doesn't help him, but it's okay. He deserves to hold on to it. Mm. We do have a few heirloom spears. You get this one. You get this one. He will get the silver one to finish the set bonus. And then we'll get extra melee armor piercing damage on the whole army. Not very important, but we'll take it anyways. Mm, we don't have an art of war. Okay. Oh, he's still blocking us. Or we can just go for this. Yeah, we'll leave all Monghua's army for Zhuge Liang to fight. Okay, we got the copper mine. Level 3, not bad. Okay, plenty of stuff for him to fight. They took that. We're gonna go for this. I don't need to worry about that. Assignments. So I think now we can cancel this one. I don't think we'll have any satisfaction issues. Yeah, we're good. Actually, that can't wait. Corruption reduction needs to get going. The problem is we don't have this. Oh, we do have the reform. Oh, okay, so we can build it. Right, because that's what we need. We need adjacency. Oh, we don't have the reform. Yeah, that's what I thought. Remember, we don't have the reform. We didn't take it. 
We took that one for 6%. It's not bad. It's immediate. Yeah, it's going to take us a little bit of time. Ooh, Yan Bai Hu's faction. Taiyan went there, huh? I'm actually surprised Zhang Ye never joined this faction. Alright, plus two, not a big deal. We're gonna kill our own son first. We can do it next turn. Actually, we might not, not we might not have enough points because I remember his defense was quite high. We might want to wait two turns just to be safe, or we can run interference first, get rid of all the defenses. Oh, but then, hmm, how many increase do we have here? So it's still two turns. Yeah, we'll just wait two turns. Alright. Two turns is also when our silk income should take a huge jump. Let us continue. They pull two armies together to fight us before we siege the Boolean's livestock farm. They have one elephant with them, but I don't think they have a shot against us. So let's fight this. Alrighty, so here we are in battle. Of course, it's gonna rain, and it doesn't really matter. Um, they have reinforcements, so I'm guessing they're gonna group up right here and then slowly march towards us. We have deployables and we have range and speed. So we're going to group our units in threes and have them kite. But I'm going to concentrate all of them in one area first. And the reason for that is to force them to walk through this pass towards us. And then we can kite away slowly, group by group. And then in front of them, we're gonna do. I will do. We'll do oil first, and then spikes in front so we don't run into them. And then we'll put our generals. And we wait. I don't think anyone has fire arrows. Yep, so it doesn't really matter. I don't think we're dueling anyone, so we're gonna turn that off. We could go scout, but our range is this far, so whenever they show up, we can see them, we can shoot at them, and then we'll start kiting back. And then we'll just basically pull one unit that way, pull another unit that way, pull unit that way, pull unit that way. And they can fire while moving so we won't be losing any temple. And then when the troops get close, the generals will light the fire and then move away. She is just there to counter the enemy ability usage, so she'll stick together with them. And we'll pretty much kite them till they die. I might need to guide them over here. Yeah, we hurt ourselves a little bit. Oops. Where are they? Oh, they're coming. They're grouping with the reinforcement, I bet. Oh, they're... A lot of them are willing to duel. Okay, I can beat him. I think. No, no, no. Come over here. They don't see us yet. Oh, they see some of us. Okay. Where's the elephant? Trying to find the elephant. All right, we'll guide them to our trap. I 
I think they have one Nanjo elephant. Maybe it didn't make it onto the screen because they do have three groups, like three army groups, two armies plus one garrison. So it would make sense if they don't all come at the same time because there's more reinforcement and the elephant just didn't make it yet. Because I don't see an elephant. There's probably some hidden vipers wherever you see gaps. Like that's probably a hidden viper. Alright, they're almost in range. Any time now. Alright, someone started. A oh, tower. See, tower has maybe 300 range here, I'm guessing. But they started a little bit before we started. So far, it's started this one. Alright, they're starting to fire too. Right, I'm going to start kiting back. Alright, time to loop behind. Uh, we do lose a lot of the towers, but we probably should have put the towers farther away. This works too. Keep hiding. Like, what can they do against us? I don't understand how they can even win against town hunters. Like, even when we run out arrow, we are still pretty respectable in terms of damage, in terms of charge, and melee attacks. Like, look at us. 50 base, 50 armor piercing. It's really high. Alright, they're closing towards that side, so we're gonna actually run our troops a little bit closer on this side. Except for a few here. We're not gonna give these Naman troop any chance to get into the forest. Keep them on the plains. Eradicate them. There might be more coming. But right now it looks good. The range troops right here. I'm going to start looping them again. Their shields all facing one direction again. And we don't want that. Go capture that back. run out of arrows on some of these but they're starting to run out of men 
surround circle and route. Alright, got that capture. Go back to here. Ah, uh, they charged. Uh, I want the generals. I want to grab him away from my men. We'll follow. Try to take away his ability usage. Uh, what do we do for our units? Alright, they're done firing. We should save some ammo for the elephants that will come. So you guys stop firing. You guys also stop firing. I take this off. Save you guys. Oh, she's getting hit for no reason. Mm. Charge the generals. Charge the units. Oh. Let's kite away first. Charge something. Right, I'm gonna save them for the elephants that's gonna come later. She's gonna route. Alright, she has resiliency, it's fine. Four. One, two, two, two. All these hidden vipers. Well, we still see them. Issue the charge command. They don't have any spear left. She's unbreakable. Right, five and six will join together. Let's call them one. Go shoot the elephants that are gonna show up. And everyone kill her. Still having one? He dodged it. What's his evasion? 19? It's not that high. How are we not killing him? There we go. He's almost dead. Go find the elephant. No more reinforcement. That means he's on the map. Oh, he routed. <laughs> routed as soon as he came in. Okay. Just kill whoever you want to kill. Not a bad win. Alrighty, that was a nice showcase of the town hunters. Yeah, I think we just execute everyone. Ooh, a gold tribal armor. Alright, unfortunately our troubles are not over as Wutugu is here attacking the lumberyard. We're not going to loop him, we could, but we said we're not going to loop, he can just take it. Google Down is ready to take it back. Alright, continue. Alrighty, so Yan Bai Hu actually got destroyed. I don't know by who, but maybe we'll get him. Tai Yan comes back because she was a spy there. 
Meng Huo signs a peace deal with uh, Mu Lu. Okay. We lost our lumber yard. Shameful defeat. That's our first defeat. Some extra experience for that. So, Zhuge Liang obviously will be tasked with taking that back. Uh, we'll be getting to there. Please, Yan Bai Hu. Yan Yu. Okay, we'll take that. Let's see who else. We'll start with here. Dong Huang. Dong Huang. Well, 70 years old. Alright, Yan Yu is ours. He has maimed. Okay, not great. But everything else is good about him. And plus, he comes with a weapon. And mending skill. Any items on them? Okay, so we don't want anyone else. We can check Yan Yu to see who wiped them. Because he would have a faction grudge against them. Ang Duo. Hmm. Reinforcement range would be nice. Yeah, I think we just go over here. We don't need fatigue resistance because all the troops are fatigue immune. Let's check Yan Yu out. Oh, we can't tell. He has no grudge against whoever destroyed his brother's faction. Okay, we, just, we can just throw him into whatever army we want. He's pretty useful. Um, the skill's okay. Poison Arrow's already activated. Alright, before we do battle, let's see. They were over here, right? Did they get wiped by yellow turbans? No way. Maybe Yuan Shu. Yuan Shu did it then. I think Yuan Shu did it. Okay. We can take these from Yellow Turbans, but I don't really want these. So I'm gonna go with our sailing away plan. And we'll just go on a cruise. Definitely a terrible idea during this pandemic, so don't do that. For us, we're gonna do a little boat ride down. I think we wanna go past Nanhai, past the Pearl River, and land over here. We'll sandwich the Naman forces. Speaking of the Naman forces, we have an interesting fight here. Can we reach? Liu Guanzhong? Oh, they ran away. Okay, so this will just be a delegate. I think casualty free. Yep. They have good weapons. I want to fight this group. And Zhang Kai is over here as well. We recovered. We don't want that. We do want that. We'll send in assignments later. Right, we want T and we want Armor Craftsman. Alright, we beat them. Now we want to clean them out. And we already fought them once. We're not going to do it again. This is against the remaining forces with a little bit of replenishment in between. But we're going to be wiping out both groups. And we'll be executing everyone. Hmm. I think we go government support. We tear this down. And then we... Probably want to build maybe just our faction unique just for the food. Like, normally we go conscription, but here I don't think we need it. The seasonal deployment, we have five, so it's not terrible because we have some red reforms, so there's a lot from that. We're trying to find Meng Huo, like the actual person. I'm gonna leave all this to Zhuge Liang. Wait, Utugu just has T left. That's it. It's only these two. Okay. So I guess we wipe him and then we fight Meng Huo. This Meng Huo has... If we look at ownership, this tan color is all Meng Huo. Oh, Utugu has this as well. Okay. I like how they bypass the High Empire. All 
All right, we'll let Ma Teng keep going. Over here, we're gonna help Zhuge Liang out a little bit. Luo Si is... Like, this is a dead army. This is just a delegate. That way we can heal. Alright, you guys volunteered yourself into a lumberyard. Now you're gonna pay the price. Oh, they actually predicted. Oh, they have an elephant. We have fire arrows, right? No. We don't have fire arrows. Oof. Then this one might be really rough. Because we can't take out the towers. And if we can't take out the towers... Oh, well, let's try it. I mean, it's gonna be medium casualties. Maybe I can do a little bit better. Alright, because we don't have fire arrow, we have to hope for one or two things. One, they charge out at us. Or two, we use this cliff here, where all the towers can't hit us, to fire into the pit. So, make that work, or to have both options available, I think we start out somewhere like right here. And if they chase out, you know, all is good, we just wipe them out outside. If they don't chase out, we go over here and shoot inside. No movement? Okay. Then we have to take advantage of the way lumberyards are designed. Gonna move slowly across past the tower range. Once we get past this area here, there's no tower to hit us. We can just fire inside, as long as we have vision of them, which is the second requirement. We'll get there. Let's go slowly. We got past the towers. Yep. Now we just line up here. Trugolown's Nanmai expedition getting started right here. It's not going to be the most efficient, but Let's see if we can make it slightly more efficient. This way we get everyone as close as inside without overlapping too much. It's fortunate that they don't have units with the range to contest us. You know, we can pretty much free fire. The trees obviously will block some of the arrows, but we'll find enough target, I believe. Especially with Burrent on Zhuge Liang, everyone has plenty of ammo. Zhuge Liang has 70 plus on the units. Get them! So once they kind of clear the doorway, if they do that, I'm not sure if they will. But if they clear the doorway, we can send our generals in to take one of the gates, and then our units after they run out of ammo can go in, charge, and finish up the fight. They're keeping their elephants very safe away from us, which is pretty smart. Even these we can kind of shoot. We'll kill everyone inside. Call these one. 
We can increase the range damage of our units. I forgot about this one. Infinite range, 60 seconds, so everyone. Oh yeah. Uh, we could have done this at the start. Well, it's on cooldown. It'll fix itself. Our job is to go in and start luring people to the death zone. Because this is no man land right here. Alright. Go. What do we have here? That's his unique ability. Use 5% of his own health to deal a huge splash damage. We're not using that. We're going to use the roar to clear out troops. Hello. Route, please. Oh, these are the might of the valley. These are actually strong. We capture it? We did. Alright. We don't need to fight them. Just move them into the death zone. Alright, they'll have units. Oh, poison darts. Is anyone guarding that? No. Okay, we'll just take it. We're getting shot by our own arrows. It hurts. Don't don't get shot by your own arrows. Alright. Running out of ammo. We're gonna go outside. We'll get shot for a little bit, but I don't want to run into those elephants or generals. Our job is just to steal a bunch of these gates. Because our units will run out of arrows eventually. Google Downs may be a little slower than others. Take his place, take his place. Oh, we had a general on us. Mm. Not what we want. Hold on. I can roar. Get out of that zone. We would love to lead the elephants towards us. Oh, spear, spear, spear. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Alright, can we guide you guys? Over here. Yeah, follow us. On us. Kill them. Shields need to die too. Alright, 
we did our job. Try to kill us on the range. There's two spears left. Uh, he went the wrong way, but it's okay. Got there. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. I'll charge in first. Let's kill two first. I trust them. They can do it. I'm gonna wait till we're lower health to use this. Actually, no, let's just use one right now. Wait, did we miss? He did. No, he took some damage. Oh, we hit him. Okay, good, good, good. Wait, they're gonna try to retake it, aren't they? Alright, it doesn't matter if they have charge reflect, the tower damage is gonna be a lot greater. Go down, chase them away. Charge! Don't stop! Don't stop! Keep charging! They're not braced! It's all a lie. No such thing as a brace spear. Ah, took it down spell off his horse. There is a thing such as a brace spear. And took down literally was like Gandalf. Charged in, crushed the range unit so they can't fire. And then our cavalry just flooded through. Can we just flood through? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Two go downs here, whacking at units. No, they charged us. Are we back on our horse? No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're back on our horse. Make him route or something. Alright, we go down killing elephants. Can we charge that other one? Just get through. Let them route. Get through, get through. We charge them. There we go. Slow down their charge, slow down their charge. Bring them down, Drew go down. Bring them down. the range actually. Right, we broke through. We're all still fresh. Right, let's kill him. Oh we won over here too. My dad pulled it out. There we go. Man drew down. Did yeah, well. He's like over here killing elephants and stuff. Look at him bring it down with a heavenly sword. Whack at it, whack at it, push it around, pull it out, push it around. He's not really hitting it anymore, but come on. There you go, he poked it. Oh, he brought it down! Okay. All right, no fire arrows, no problem. And despite charging into two spear units and getting charged by two elephants, we barely took any damage, and we changed the Pyrrhic victory to a decisive one. Pretty happy with his performance here. We are saying no to elephants. All right, we agreed only Tiang units. Ma Dai leveled up. Alright, let's get some mobility on our units. 
Hmm, maybe we try to get utility, uh, mobility on the army, but I want capture chance. Google Down is going to be the one getting reach next. Oh, fire arrows. Nah, this would just be a slow moving army. Okay, so they will go down with them. I think one will split off this way, one will go down this way. I'm assuming there's no real army here, so I'm going to send them over. And Drugo Down will try to find where Meng Hua is by going the middle route. They will go take care of the T, which is the most crucial. And then Zhang Ke uh, will leave Wu Ling to Liu Biao. Over here, we're going to go get ourselves the armor next. Ma Chao's chilling until dad dies of old age. I don't know if they'll come. If they do, we'll have something to fight. If not, we're just going to hang out. Alright, one more turn for our silk to kick in. Alright, we have entirety of Jiangyang. The income is not as impressive because everything's not upgraded. But we can fix that. Four turns. We'll do this. No assignments here whatsoever, huh? No one seems to like the administrator here. I think the Chao is the name. Uh, we can put it... Wudu has three boosts. Right. Except for it doesn't have the commerce boost, which is... A really good one here. Although Jin Chong could also use that. Alright, Jin Chong has that. We'll use her. Alright. Let's see, what else do we have? This does not need this, but we'll wait one more turn. Yeah, we might as well. Okay. Let's take a look at Spy. She has enough points. Oh, does she have enough points? I forgot what the defense for Yuan Shu is. Well, I think we canceled the defense because we used the interference last turn, two turns ago. It should still be applied. Let's see who Liu Bao has stashed, if we can steal Gunning or not. Hong Zhong still alive? Or oh, 99? How many generals does he have? Oh my god. Where did, what happened to Gunning? I thought Gunning was with him. Oh, he's right here. 55. Okay, so I think when he dies of old age, you have death of leader, loss of authority. That's the moment when we can grab him. So we want to just have the spy ready to keep him low. What's the defense? 14. Oof. I think that's relatively what this was. I think it was right 14, 13-ish. So we're going to make our move now. We're going to murder Yuan Yao or her own son. Uh, we don't have the, uh, one more turn. One more turn. One more turn, we can do it. I think... I want to do this because we did interference which should last a few turns we would still have over 80 points because the grow rate is the same as the spin here and we can test out there's no defense so there's no defense so we can do that next turn we'll murder Yuan Yao. Petrus is going down slowly but it's going down one per turn I think Long long. 142, okay. I don't really care about him. Oh, we can cancel some of the trade. Like, what is up with this trade deal being so little? Some of these are really nice. But Kongrong, I'm so shocked, is so low. I kind of want to just cancel it with him. 
I mean, everyone loves us. This doesn't even impact. Oh. Six turns. Okay, fine. Alright, we don't want anyone else. I guess we're good to go. Let's end turn. Oh? Oh, alliance piece. Liu Bao votes yes, Cao Cao votes no. I'm gonna side with Cao Cao here. I mean, it doesn't matter. Regardless of how you vote, so they're not even gonna make us do anything. Alright. Gong Sun Zan, Yuan Shao going to war. Oh, we got a horse. We got the gray elite. Okay, this is our first gold horse. Uh, there is an elite version for each color. This is the expertise one. Uh, we'll put this to good use. Our spy got promoted. Okay. So right now the situation is everyone's friendly. So we're trying to find things to kill. Uh, namely the Nanman factions. As we're mowing them down down south. Making a push here. Making a push here. Even have a naval force coming down. So that's going to be our goal moving forward. This is really nothing. It feels like the north here is really mixed. A lot of small factions, a lot of vassals, Yuan Shao, Gong Sun Zan, they're just messing around up here. In the central plains is Liu Bao being really big with Huang Zhu as his vassal, Cao Cao being decently sized, and Yuan Shu developing quite nicely down south as well. So that's kind of the trend. Yuan Shu wiped out Yan Bai Hu. I think Yuan Shu is at war with Sun Ce. I think. No, not true. Not true. Is anyone at war with Sun Ce? Lu Bu Yuan Shu. Oh, he's in. The, he's at war with the North. So I guess he's not gonna get wiped. So we can stop dreaming about getting the brother and sister. Uh, but if we can, uh, through vassal or anything like that, that would be great. Uh, but I somehow doubt it. They're pretty prideful. I think it's negative 160. But we'll keep an eye out for that potential. And our goal moving forward is just to get our spice before old man dies of old age and see how much income we can generate. Because this turn we just finished all our silk building. So if we look at our silk trade, silk by itself is generating 4,218. That's from three counties. Pretty impressive, uh, especially if you consider how high our corruption is because it's going kind of out of control at the moment. Um, but things are going well. You can see the silk uh, locations. These three commanderies with the silk generating most of our wealth. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. And we'll continue this southern push with Zhuge Liang. Hopefully finding King Meng Huo. Because you can see the king title now. King Wu Tugu. So it should be fun to fight. Uh, no one has hit the king rank as normal Han factions. So we don't have Emperor seat on the map yet. It looks like Yuan Shu might be first, or we might be first, who knows, um, it's between us two. And once he, someone triggers it, we'll see the other Emperor seat pop up, and we can finally see our victory condition. We would want to get our hand on one as soon as possible to get the Imperial Court, uh, but that's probably down the line. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, and see you all next time. Bye!